today I just received my Garmin Descent MK2i the I is for integrated uh, so you can add a transmitter and uh, finally have a uh, integrated air monitoring on, on a Garmin product uh, I used my Garmin Descent MK1 for about two years now and it's hands down the, the best dive computer I've ever used so I'm very excited to open the Descent MK2i and see what's inside the bat you can see that there is a little foam protection here got the watch itself what else is in this box Like we have the uh, extended strap for a dry suit or a large wetsuit. Charger. The charger looks like it differs slightly from the last model. Looks like it just clips on to the camera. I mean, sorry, the watch. And then also we've got a couple manuals here. And maybe warranty information. Watch out of here. Peel off the, uh, the sticker here. Let's see if you can turn it on. I may need to charge the battery before it comes on completely. There we go. Select English. My initial reaction here is it look like uh, it looks like the viewable area of the watch itself is slightly larger than the, the MK1. Let's see. Let's see if we can pair this with my phone. I have not uh, downloaded anything special other than what I had on my phone from the previous uh, model, the MK1. Let's see if, uh, if I can run through this menu here and have it, have it find the new model. Common devices. And a device down here. Alright, it says ready to connect your Descent MK2. I connect it. I will replace it as my preferred activity tracker since I intend to start wearing this one as opposed to my old MK1.
just asking me some general questions. Send recent training data to your new device. Yes. I'll skip my goals for now. And let's see. Apologize for the interruption. I just had a phone call here. So, yeah, right after that step, it says you're all set, and I'll just hit finish. During that time, I guess it was uh, syncing here. So it looks like it's just going to walk me through a, a little tutorial here. Um, It's offering for me to set up a few features, uh, Wi-Fi, music, Garmin Pay, and live track. So at this time I'm, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do not now, and then I'll come back to that later. Asking if I want to add a uh, alternate time zone. I'll hit yes and see what it what it offers me. Maybe we'll set up the uh, east coast of the U.S. A little warning about uh, the diving here encourages you to use a backup device, and there it is. All right, hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing. Uh, leave some comments or ask questions if you have any. Thanks. Bye. So one more thing, uh, one question I wondered uh, after the unboxing is uh, to compare the old charger and the new charger. So I, I briefly tried to fit the, uh, the MK2 into the MK1 charger. It does not look like it fits in there. Uh, however, the, uh, the new clip-on charger uh, does appear to charge my MK1, so if, if for some reason you wanted to keep your MK1 around, you could still use just one charger and charge it with, uh, with the new MK2 uh, charger. Just thought I would add that to the end of my video here since I asked myself that question.